All right, if you need to, go ahead and drop another Writer's 2 down and don't add any effects. Also for this part, we're going to want to see this area a little bit wider. So if you need to, if you can, make your uh, timeline view or your program view a little bit smaller so that you can see the key framing area a little bit bigger. So we're going to be adding key framing effects, which um, basically you can turn almost all parameters for all video effects into keyframes. That is, you can change the effects behavior over time in a multitude of ways. For example, you can have an effect gradually change out of focus, change color, warp into a funhouse mirror, or lengthen its shadow. So the first effect that we're going to add keyframing to is Solarize. Solarize is found in presets solarizes and we're going to have it solarize in. Let's practice dragging it to our effect panel, our effect control so we can see that. And right now when you add an effect, first of all, remember that it has its presets set and it applies it to the to the video from the vi when the video starts. So we're going to go ahead and play the clip here. Hmm. We need a good name. What's her name? And you can see what it does there. All right. So we're going to drag the second, the, the effect second keyframe to the right this time. So we're going to click on this guy right here and drag this to the right. And then we're gonna go back to the beginning and hit play. Mm. We need a good name. So What's now it's more name? of a gradual Dixie. solarize. So it's, it's it gradually Dixie. solarizes. Dixie's and great. you could obviously, Love if you would the solarize out, you know, it could do that. So it takes long, longer here for the solarize effect to resolve to the normal the Im image. So the key, the keyframes are not permanently fixed. You can change a keyframes position without changing its value. All right, this time we're, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna ask you to turn this off so that I can see that you did it. And then go to, we're gonna apply the stylize effect stylize we're going to go to video effects stylize and then choose replicate so we're going to go here stylize replicate and just go ahead and drag it into your effect controls i'm going to scroll up here and so what this does here for our replicate is um here i'm going to delete the solarize so you don't get confused on mine but i'm just asking you to turn it off um so for the replicate again it's just going to do this for the whole video here so it's just it's a two by two screen so the default is two so drag your timeline to the beginning of the clip here So we have it at two and we're going to click right here on this little toggle. So that sets it at two at the beginning, okay? So if you can see here, it should have put this triangle right, that little diamond right there. Now, We are going to move our stick down a little bit to about the one second. 
mark. So that's a little after one there. And you can, you can kind of see this up here again, if you make this larger, you can see, but you can also see the count here. Now change the replicate effects count parameter to four. I'm just gonna click here and type four. Now I have two of these. So now when the video starts, I see two by two and then now I see four by four. We need and it's gonna stay that until I change it. So now we're gonna drag it to about the three second point. I just stopped it a little bit after three seconds. So we want it to not change from one second to three seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and click this count right here. Oh, I lied, sorry. Sorry, click this guy right here. Add remove keyframe. So if you, that's my bad, don't click that. <laughs> click this button right here and that will add a keyframe. So now basically what that's doing is it's securing it not to change from that one second mark to that three second mark. Now when we go to the end of the clip and change the count to 10, We've added a new keyframe. So what's gonna happen? Are you seeing how it's gradually adding keyframes from there? So it's going. So as you hit play, you'll watch the keyframes expand. You mean, you mean like the cup? Again, it won't do anything to the audio. That's just the audio kind of screwing up. So basically what happens is we start here, the very beginning. And it goes from two by two. To Can four by four. And then it gradually name. is gonna continue on. Something. Dixie. Mm. Dixie. All right, so now we're gonna click on this third keyframe right here. So we're gonna edit this. So let's go ahead and change the count to 16. So now what will happen is it's going to take a shorter time to go to 16 by 16 and then at the end it will slowly decrease down to 10 by 10. Make sure that your tool bar here is at the beginning and click on your text tool and draw a text box about the same size as your canvas there and we're going to type the writers don't worry about what kind of font you have or whatever and then select your font and you're going to go or your text and you're going to go here in your effect controls and expand your text where it says the writers all right we're going to choose for our font mongoose And we're going to make it um, size 239. So right here, you can just type it, remember, or you can use your slider. And we're going to change the position as to where the text is. So up here, this affects your text as well. So um, your position is going to, you're going to keep the 360. 
and so that's going to keep it right and left and then your position here is going to be 317 so you can just type it and that should move it kind of down towards the middle there all right we are going to um, keep it filled white, but we're gonna add a stroke and we're gonna add a stroke the same color as the guy's shirt. So we're gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and go over to the video and click on the guy's like shirt, sweatshirt, whatever. I have my border at about 19. And if you don't see it add your stroke immediately, go ahead and click on the plus sign so that it adds it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is add the magnify effect to our text here. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on effects and expand it. So if you look, if you could tell my essential graphics, so you can also edit your text over here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna click up here in effects and magnify is under distort so expand distort click on magnify and we're going to apply it to our text so apply it to your graphic so i think this one is easier to just click and drop it on top of the writer okay so right now all this is doing is it's just going to magnify something in the middle so what we want it to do is we want it to start at the and go across to across to writers so I'm going to go over here and right here it says magnify. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is change the shape of the magnification to a square. And I'm going to move the the center I'm going to move the magnification down to about 140. I'm going to keep these the same but you can play with them um, a little bit after we're done here so um, what I want to do is I want to change where it's going to start so for my position here I want it to be in the center I want it to be at 63 so if I just click and drag it to the left I'm going to do I'm going to triple click my text here. I'm going to center my text. So go up go down to your text and hit center. Okay. And then go up here. So I'm going to have the center of it start at about 85. I'm going to move it up just a little bit so that it magnifies that a little bit. I might need to make my size just a hair bigger. I'm going to try 105 for my magnification size so that way you can see like the whole letters there. Maybe 110. Kind of play with yours and see. And I'm going to set so that it starts there. So what I'm going to do is click on center and then I'm going to move my cursor to the end here, my keyframe cursor to the end. And so what I want to do is I want the magnification to move across the words, the writer. So right here at the end, I'm going to move my center here and then I'm going to move this, this one to the end. I'm going to drag the center here to the end so that it's over kind of the R and the S and it goes off. So if you go back and hit play, mm. you can see it magnify mm. we need and a move. Good so that's me. how you can change your effects there. So if you want to, feel free to um, adjust a couple of these.